Hello guys, and welcome to this video that I've been waiting to make for so long. I have finally been invited to the GPT-4 API, and I now have access to it. What does that mean? It means if I go on the playground here and I click on chat, then you can see now that instead of 3.5, I have GPT-4 and GPT-40314. What I'm going to show you in this video is basically the best way to make content at the moment. The system is your brand, okay? So what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to program a system prompt, and then I'm going to show you how to get it to give you amazing content. But just for this video, I just want to quickly explain why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I'm built on Shopify and I can use for free, I can use Matrixify to automatically upload content to my website, okay? So if I put 10 blog posts here for free, I can press upload and it will automatically upload everything. And honestly, this makes everything so much easier. But there are two things we can do this with this. Number one, in the future, I will probably make some kind of Google Sheet add-on that will do all of this automatically, basically. But number two, what we can do is we can tell ChatGPT4 to give us HTML content that will automatically be uploaded to our website. So in this video, I'm gonna plan the system prompt. So I'm gonna start with, you are a digital marketing assistant for two men dot it. Two men is a multi-brand store. You are going to create content that is written in raw HTML, including title tags, lists, um, internal links as Ahrefs, um, and everything else. The brands we sell are, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all the brands that we sell, obviously. So let's go on my website, click on brands, and let's just grab these brands like that. That should be fine. So this is basically how to make um, ChatGPT write for you, okay? Specifically for your website. This is how to plug ChatGPT into your website. This is the best way to do it at the moment. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a list of collections to use as internal links in whatever content I get it to write. I've shown this a few times, but basically what I like to do is I like to get my sitemap and I like to filter it uh, Z to A like this or A to Z, whatever. And I like to grab the HTMLs. So I guess I should have done A to Z, there we go. So let's grab all of these collections, copy that, and then we'll paste that at the top like this. And then we're gonna get rid of lock. And we'll get rid of slash lock. Okay, so normally what I would do is I would also do this for my blog posts, but I'm not gonna do it that specifically in this video just because I'm just so excited that I got ChatGPT4 API. I've been waiting for this for ages. Please use the following links as internal links in my, uh, in my content. Let's just write my content. Okay, and then right at the top, we're gonna write, please only write in raw HTML, simple in simple raw HTML. So you can do this in a number of ways. You can get it to give you simple raw HTML or you can also get it to give you markdown, okay? Um, in fact, for this example, just because it's it's more relevant to everybody, I want I want to use markdown. So please please use markdown to write these. I'll put that right at the top and then we'll say markdown here as well. Okay, so already we're working with something that has all of the information that we need and I could already expect it to write a decent article. Now, personally, I would recommend adding even more information about your business. Just add everything. Add anything and everything that you're publicly willing to share about your business. Put that in the system prompt and then you can expect it to be outputted when you write 
an article. So what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, write. I don't know why I write please to an AI. People flame me all the time for that. I'm just polite, I guess. Write an article about, uh, let's just say, I want to test it out. So best Italian suit brands. So what this should do is, I hope, is take all of this information and it should be able to s see which of the brands we have, we sell suits and which of them don't have suits. If it's able to do that, that will be insane. Although I would be very surprised if it could do that. Let's have a look at what it does. So I'm going to press submit and we're going to see what the actual content is. But while it's doing that, I'm going to show you the real secret to this method, which is markdown to uh, HTML tool. There are two ways you can do this. You can do markdown to HTML or you can do um, markdown to plain text, okay? You can also, yeah, th this tool here, markdown to HTML.com. This is exactly what you want. So let's see how it's doing so far. Let's see if it's mentioned any brands it hasn't. It's mentioned Cesare Tellini, which we sell suits. It's mentioned Kiton, we sell suits. It's mentioned Sartorio Napoli. Guess what? We sell suits. I'm hoping that that continues and it doesn't start writing about we sell suits from Brunello Cuccinelli as well or blazers. So, I mean, that's fine. I think that's the final suit brand that we actually have at the moment. So if it continues after this, we may have a problem. But if it recognizes, we also sell boss suits. Wow, that's actually crazy. I, I can tell you how it's doing that. It's reading the collections and Barber Napoli. Okay, we do not sell Barber Napoli suits. So now it's just, unfortunately, it's creating content that is no longer useful. However, the content is so cheap, so I'll probably just leave it because I think we are getting some Barber Napoli suits in the future. So that is now done and I can copy and paste this directly into this markdown converter. And guess what we have? We have a full article just like that. Okay. And let's see how many words that is as a starter. And then we'll see how much that cost me or we'll calculate how much that cost me or We'll just see how much that cost me. So first of all, there's no bad formatting. The formatting is perfect, which is really, really a big improvement on chat GPT in its current form. I don't like the fact that it's given links to the titles, but it's not that big of a problem to be honest with you. And overall, I think the content is good. And if we had put more information in our system, the, the, I'll tell you what the difference is between what we've been talking about until now and this. We no longer have to filter the information for ChatGPT. ChatGPT can just understand, except Barber Napoli here. It just understood because I have these collections. I have Boss suits, Brunello Cuccinelli suits, but I don't have Barber Napoli suits, I don't think. Uh, uh, Napoli. Okay. I don't have the Barber Napoli suits, but it made one anyway. So, I mean, that's a very small error in the grand scheme of things. Let's be honest with you. For how impressive this is, that's in, that that yeah for how quick and easy this is that's just incredibly impressive in my opinion i'm super excited to get to work on this however for me specifically i do want to show you guys uh how i'm going to be using this specifically just because i am on shopify and matrixify exists so what i want i don't want uh markdown i actually want html so i can click here and i can grab the html and I can put it directly into the body like this. I should be able to. Yeah, perfect. I could now upload this directly onto my store. And guess what? It would, I can upload 10 articles at the same time for free. This will increase my output even further per hour. Previously, I could do 10, 8 to 10 per hour. I think with this method, I can do even more. Definitely, definitely, this is a huge, huge, huge improvement. Expect many more videos coming on the playground. And I hope to learn how to program as well. I hope to be able to bring you some programming tutorials as well to setting up your own playgrounds, you know, maybe with some stable diffusion, all that kind of stuff. So let me know if you want to see those videos. And yeah, I really hope that this video helps. I cannot wait until this is widely available. Let's have a quick look at the cost here, actually, before I um, before we go. So today, including the work, I, I was doing a little bit of work uh, earlier. I was just doing some practicing. 
And the other day I wrote probably 10,000 words maybe and it only cost 28 cents. Overall, 13 cents, even if that was just for the article I just wrote, that's incredibly cheap, but it's not. It's for the article I wrote just now and also some of the content that I made um, before. This is crazy, honestly. It's so cheap. It is so cheap. This is going to change the game. I'm so happy I've got this. I'm going to be working all day on this tomorrow. I didn't save my system prompt, which is annoying. Um... Expect a, few, a lot more videos on this, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon with some more content, and peace out.